for joining me today. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel. I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings, uh, so that's something to consider. So let's get started today. The first card is what's currently going on with Taurus, July 1st through the 15th of 2018, uh, the overview. Let's see if it's too. Right, so there's a lack of planning, a lack of strategy here. And I'm showing that you're being envious of something or somebody's being envious of you. you there's somebody, or you're in this dark shadow and you're looking at this pot of gold and you're wanting it, you're envying it. Instead of going out and getting your own. And there's a lack of strategy and planning here. To get your own instead of envying what somebody else has. Or there's a lack of strategy and planning because somebody's envying you and you don't even realize it. Alright, um, so what's mentally going on with Taurus? Three cards for what's going on in Taurus's mind, June, July 1st through the 15th. So I have the Chariot reversed, I have the Queen of Cups reversed. And I have the Page of Wands reversed. So three reverses. So the Chariot reversed. There's a lot, of, like a lack of self-discipline here, a loss of direction. There could be emotional outbursts, letting go. There could be car problems that's on your mind. Uh, wearing a mask to hide your emotions, overreacting to little things, feeling overwhelmed just being stuck in a rut. The Queen of Cups, when she reverses, um, there's a lot of manipulation, um, being bitter, jealous, envious, gullible, um, easily influenced, being a fashion victim, being clingy, moody, um, there's heartbreak here, selfishness, gloom and doom, escapism, cold revenge, um, being overly sentimental, being self-centered, scandalous, blocked or repressed artistic abilities and emotions. Both of these are the card of cancer. So we could be talking about a cancer individual or it's just about your feelings because cancer is I feel. It, it's all about um, feelings or just that time period, June 21st through July the 22nd could just be referring to that. All right, and then I have the Page of Wands in the reverse. And when the Page of Wands reverses, um, we have somebody who makes excuses, who's never ready for anything, who fears change, who's fearful of travel, lacks ambition. Um, there's bad news here, setbacks terribly unreliable people um, or you're being terribly unreliable taking foolish risks <clears throat> um, grass is always greener on the other side and that's it That's any fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Um, so it has the negative aspects of fire because it is in the reverse. So it'd be being more reckless, spontaneous, um, having a volcanic temper, uh, being temperamental. What's going on in Taurus's family and home life? Three cards for Taurus's. Two. So there's conflict. Okay. 
Ooh. You're having some rough family and home life. Mm, sorry to hear this. <clears throat> so the first thing we have is the five of wands in the upright. And this is conflict, tension, betrayal, win at all costs. There could be abuse here, criminal violence, bloating, physical attacks. So this could be a, a, a very physically violent situation in your home or it could just mean competition. Um, it could definitely just mean competition. Um, there's stress, definitely stress, determination, there's chaos, um, lack of teamwork, things are getting out of hand, irritation, impatience, too many Indians and not enough chiefs. Uh, this is the, the card of Leo. This is I Will. And then we have the Queen of Swords, and she's in the reverse. So this is mental confusion, being clueless, chaos, out of control, sarcastic, tactless, um, hypocritical, a perfectionist, obsessive compulsive disorder, um, negative, cold, bitter, ice queen, being a liar, a cheat, playing mind games. Clouded thoughts, there could be f fertility issues here. Mental abuse. Three of swords, heartbreak, loss, deep sadness, trauma, vicious arguments, hurtful words. There's a love triangle, divorce, betrayal. This is Libra. That's Gemini. That's Leo. Leo, Gemini, Libra. Leo's a fixed sign, so he stands one's ground. So in this conflict, you're standing your ground. Going with the flow, with the verbal abuse. And you're doing something about the heartbreak. Because this is a hard new song. But I see massive arguments here. I see really hurtful words in your family and home life. Definitely verbal abuse. Could it could potentially become physical abuse. I'm seeing domestic violence. This is definitely domestic violence. What's going on in Taurus's social and romantic life? What's going through? have the Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Swords is mental overload. There's a need for a retreat. Um, there's an enforced period of rest here. If she's got the better of you, finding it hard to cope. This could be hospitalization, going through a mental breakdown. Again, we have Libra. We have the Two of Pentacles. There's decisions about two people, juggling two people. And Temperance also juggles. She's a major life event. Uh, she's the calm after the storm. This is the card of Sagittarius. She's the calm after the storm. She rebalances. She uh, is a wise counselor, a healer. Light at the end of the tunnel, a period of peace, 
healing emotion, um, forgiveness. This is a mature relationship. So I see a progression here. There's an enforced period of rest. So somebody's like, you need a timeout. You're out of control. There's all this fighting, all this verbal abuse, and it's enforced. This is an enforced period of rest. You're juggling, this could either be finances, health, two people. So you're juggling two different things. And that's being shown again in temperance. But ultimately, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Ultimately, there is a period of peace. Ultimately, there's a period of balancing to restoring yourself to whole. after all this turmoil. What is all this fighting about? One card for what all this fighting is about. One card for what all this fighting is about. One card for what all this fighting is about. The Five of Swords. Conflict, tension, <laughs> so it's past resentment. Um, there's a new win situation here. It could be with an Aquarius. There's some sort of major loss. Um, the winds have changed. Something changed, and it, it didn't change very. Right? There's a free spirit rebellion. What can help Taurus to ease ease over this conflict, conflict and get out of There's a lot of envy, jealousy, um, heartbreak, verbal abuse. Juggling. That's, that's all I'm seeing. It's going to help Taurus get over that. Three cards for to help Taurus. Okay, so Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, and your card. King of Pentacles reversed. Alright, so the Ten of Swords is all about completions. Um, this is a complete mental breakdown, being backstabbed, there's severe conflict, there's abuse, gossip, feeling like you hit rock bottom, being burnt out. This is the card of Gemini. Then I have the Three of Cups. So you have to hit rock bottom, you have to complete those painful lessons in order to rise above, in order to have a new beginning. So then I have the Three of Cups. And this is about celebrations, friends, community, emotional growth. This is the card of cancer. And we have cancer up here on what's on your mind. Um, so you need to go out to parties. You need to get out. You need to socialize more. You, you need to be around people other than these painful lessons. Other than, I, I feel like it's a Gemini, honestly. I, this could definitely be a Gemini's causing you issues. Or an Aquarius. Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo. Alright, 
And then I have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is financial loss, insecurity, being unemployed, collapse of a business, so you, a business that's falling apart. There's debt here, being broke, poor judgment, overspending, um, stubborn, get rich quick schemes. That's the card of Virgo. And Virgo is all about I analyze. So this could be over a Virgo. A Virgo is causing issues in your business, causing a collapse, or It could be just recognizing that that's happening and taking steps to avoid disaster. So what's Taurus's money situation look like? What's Taurus's money situation look like? Taurus's financial, three cards for Taurus's financial situation. I, I am using two decks put together. So I have the Three of Cups reverse. So three is a crowd in terms of your finances. This is also the card of Cancer again. Um, so there's too many people. Uh, there's three here. So there's too many people in terms of your finances and it's affecting your business. I have the Page of Cups in the reverse. So this is um, gossip, disappointment, this could be quitting a job, um, bad news, being fired from a job, being obsessed, there's tears here, letting yourself go. And that's also uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy, so it's a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. And then I have the King of Cups in the upright so this is the Midas touch this is anything you touch turns to gold uh, this is extreme wealth this is success setting realistic goals and you have what it takes to be successful um, money could double with this Slow and steady though, traditional, old fashioned, down to earth. What you want, you have to work through with this card, but whatever you touch turns to gold, but you still have to work for it. It's not a magic pill. Card. Okay. 
and uh, three cards for Taurus's career. Three cards for Taurus's career. Interesting. This is very interesting, actually. <laughs> so the first card we have is the Hierophant, which is your card. This is all about tradition, legacy. But this is also afraid of rocking the boat, being stuck in the past, doing what everyone expects of you, um, blindly following, giving your power away. And then we have the Three of Pentacles, which is teamwork, gaining qualifications, building, not cutting corners. And then we have the Empress. This is domestic goddess, creative, productive, a rite of passage, abundance, love. This, this is pregnancy. This is um, an incubation period. Um, me time, a period of growth. A time for safety and stability. So in terms of your... In terms of your money, there's too many hands in the cookie jar. <laughs> Basically. But ultimately you come out on top. Your money is good. In terms of your career, it's very traditional. A lot of hard work, a lot of teamwork. It's beautiful. There's an incubation period, but you have the ability to manifest here. All right, Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Um, I do offer bi-monthly tarot readings. So thank you again. Have a great day.